Hey guys, so today's video we're going to be unboxing these two lovely packages that contain um, two levels to add to my snake rack. So they're from ALU Racks and um, yeah, I'm going to be unboxing the boxes obviously. Then I'm going to set it up and at the very end of this video I'm just going to have a little chat about the whole Rax versus Vivarium debate. Um, I've used both so I feel like I have an opinion on both. Um, so yeah, if you want to stick around to the end of the video to listen to that. But first, let's get unboxing. So, um, safe to say there was a fair bit of packaging and inside we have our tubs we're going to be using V70 these are our legs heat panels and we call these shelves and a bunch of thanks for buying our product thank you so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put ooh, going to put um, some substrate into the tubs because I'm using cocoa fiber and it's still a bit um, still a bit wet. So I'm going to fill these up and then let them dry overnight and then hopefully by tomorrow. We can start putting the rack together and putting in some snakeies. I'm just going to do that now. And we're back. Um, so the substrate has dried a bit. I've added some hides and fake plants and some cork bark. Um, I've left space for another hide to go in um, from what they're already using and this is the two levels that I'm going to be replacing with the bigger ones. Um, we have three small ball pythons in these three but Piper in this one is fairly big so she is going to get the big hide. Um, but they're all going to be moved in here today. And now I am going to have to dismantle this one. Which I'm really not looking forward to doing. Um, so I need to take these off. Take all of these off. And then start putting the new rack together. So wish me luck. Look at her planning her escape. Where are you going? Okay. Get back. Get back. Hold well, on, I'll get you. Uh, gotta keep your eyes on these guys. Get back. Come right here. Good girl. No. You are not disappearing. Okay, where, where, where? I'll put you into a tub. But she's looking suspicious as well. There's Butch. Don't you try and do the same. This girl is naughty. But she's not really. She's opportunistic. Okay, so these are legs and they go on first. So we have one in here. Four legs go on each corner. Sorry if my butt isn't bloody. And there we go. Job done. Oh, so. <laughs> Out for a second. Over here. 
go. Okay, next level. These are so easy to put together, guys. They're the easiest. I say that as I probably struggle. Should have done the heat panel first. Everyone's still in there where they should be, yeah. Rookie mistake. Should have put the heat panel in first. Heat panel and it's like a mat at the back of it. This goes along the back. <sighs> I'm not even going to bother. And for the top um, layer, I'm actually going to use a separate um, thermostat because heat rises, and I always find that the top level is a lot warmer than the bottom two. So I'm going to use a separate um, thermostat for that. Okay, so I've put the top level in, same as before, no point filming that. So all we have to do now is put in the tubs. Um, so yeah, I think Piper is first, or L. So let's get to it before Butch escapes, and then we have two escapees. is next. We'll get in. make that noise. This one doesn't make any noise. See? After a while it won't make that noise. Now 
to um, put in the snackies. See how they like it. Okay, we'll do um, Bob first because he looks like he's vacating. So just to give you an idea of how big they are, they're pretty big. V70 rubs. We'll see how Butch likes it. Oh, we must put in water dishes up. Hey, Butch. Put in his old hide so that it smells familiar. And his old water dish, which we'll clean out in time. Um, and then the main man himself. So this is Butch. I don't know how well you can see him. He is a phantom pinstripe. He's like, get that camera out of my face, please. That big shiny light. So he's small for um, this size top, but go big or go home. Water dish. He'll probably try and get out in that way for us. <laughs> Getting long, Butch. be here all day waiting for him to explore everything so let's not dwell plenty more to house oh get in so they're a bit stiff <laughs> when you first get them oh my god I can't actually get it in oh oh my god this is great but there's something still She's in a. Oh, I'm going to put in this piece of bark as well from his old hide. Bark, his old rub. Put that there. He likes the new plant. Oh! Oh lord, that's making an awful sound. Um, Piper. Pipes. I had to put you into this because we did try and escape. So, Piper is the biggest of the four that we're housing today. So she has the bigger hide. And here she is. She is a pastel pied. Very pretty snake. Show the people your face. There she is. You got a new big tub. Yeah. Go explore. I will fill your water dish. Where's the water? That's going to take me forever. I'll do that later. See you later, pipes. Oh, no. Next. Thinking. Hello? You're going 
into your new hide? Why do I keep calling it a hide? Your new tub. That's what it's called. We mm. put in our plant from your other house. Wait a minute. Good girl, Jane. Wrong snake. I'm glad I realised it was the wrong snake or I could have been bitten. And more of that later. <laughs> this is L. I knew you didn't have. Okay. So, old hide going in. This is L. L is where is your head? There you go. Hi. Who's that? So L is a Enchi Fire Mojave. Very pretty girl. The camera doesn't quite pick up her colours too well, but they are fab. So off you go. And you can let go of my hand at any stage. There you go. Good girl. They always seem to be attracted to this corner. trees under the tree okay see you later I'll, I'll fill your water dish in a minute <laughs> okay last but not least is my terrifying um, fire bee who has bitten me twice um, I am going to do um, a full video dedicated to Buzz the Fire Bee. Probably in the next two videos, maybe. Um, but he's my special boy and can be a bit, a bit, can be either defensive or hungry. First time he bit was like a hunger, hunger strike thingy. Second time was a defensive bite, so yeah, I'm not going to be holding him for very long. You're going to have to look at him from in the top. Okay, so I had to pause the video oh. to put on a long sleeve because if he sees any heat at all, he kind of strikes at it. So yeah, this is going to be fun. Water dish. Successful transfer of the buzz. There he is. He is gorgeous. Stunning looking. Which is why people breed the spider gene because they do just look amazing. Um, but this guy does have a wobble. And when I first got him with all the stress he was corkscrewing. He hasn't corkscrewed in... Okay, don't strike at the camera now or anything, please. Um, oh, he's going into his hide. He hasn't corkscrewed in months, so I just think all of that stress from the move, you know, changing. Um, 
so he's calmed down a lot and he's filled out a lot. He was actually quite skinny when I got him. Maybe he was just always hungry. <laughs> That's why he was always trying to bite me. Because he hasn't struck at me in months as well, so he's doing really well. As he slowly goes into his hide. Yeah, that's, um, that is the new racking system done. Now off camera. Off camera, I'm going to make sure, because I'm going to have to look under here and make sure that the thermostat probe is still attached to the bottom one with all the moving and stuff like that. I could have knocked it off. So I'm going to check that off camera. I'm going to plug everything in off camera. I also have, where are they? Where are they? Okay. I'm going to have to look for them. Um, thermometer, hygrometer probes that go in one tub each level and will be attached here. I also have to I don't know if you saw that, but they're going to be attached to the side. I'm also going to have to put these locking things on the other levels because they will push them out. So I'm going to do all of that off camera. And um, Okay. Um, yeah, I'll come back to you with... So I'm deciding I'm going to do the whole discussion on racks versus, versus um, vivariums or tanks, div, whatever you want. Debate in another um, video because I feel like... I think both this are good, one but is going to we'll take get into that a little bit later. Um, too long. So this is all set up now. I've decided to use this um, level as a kind of drawer and to hide away all the electronics. I have my two thermostats. Um, these are the temperature probes. Now I've just turned them on, so they're not giving a good reading. Um, but I want to talk a bit about them because these are the probes and where I've put them is in the back and stuck them with tape to the outside. You don't ever put tape on the inside of a rub or the inside of a vivarium, whatever you're using, you don't ever put tape on the inside because the snake will get under the wire or whatever you're taping and could peel it off and then the tape will stick to the snake. Um, I know this, I'll admit it from personal experience. I did that with this girl. You can't see her because, well, she's a ball python and it's daytime so she's probably sleeping. Um, Jaffa, when she was a little little baby when I first got her a few years ago I had watched YouTube videos of where to put your probes and all of that and somebody had put it on the inside and taped it and so I did the same came upstairs um, about an hour or two later and it was wrapped around her neck it was terrible. Um, the only thing that I did was use vegetable oil with a Q-tip and like really gently um, rub it off. Um, but it was torture for her and torture for me. And you can't see Buddy either. This is great. Um, so yeah, I'm going to tape this one now onto Jaffa's tub. Um, tape on the outside, probe on the inside. Tape on the outside, probe on the inside. And that will give me my ambient temperature. Thermostats are controlling the heat panels. I have a temp gun wherever it is. Oh my god, I'm very bad. So I was just taping up the probe here. And I forgot to mention that you can get these racks with or without these vents. Um, 
When I first got them, I ordered the bottom level have vents and the top two with the 35s to have no vents. Now I found that the ones with no vents actually held humidity too well. Um, so they were constantly getting all fogged up in condensation. Um, and I found that these ones with the vents were just perfect. I have zero issues with shedding um, with the vents. So I just wanted to add that little bit in and I'm sure I will have forgotten something else by the time I turn off the camera. Have I forgotten anything else? Uh, no. Any sign of Jaffa? Okay then. I don't want to imagine if I went too close and she just grabbed the camera. She wouldn't do that, although she is my best feeder. Like, I reckon <laughs> she would probably eat seven days of the week. <laughs> um, okay, that's it. That's all I have to say. I think I'll probably think of something else, but hopefully I won't. Oh, I knew I was forgetting something. Ambient temperatures in the room. You can't have a rack in a room that's going to fluctuate temperatures um, throughout the day. And what, well, I suppose you. Oh, when I say fluctuate, I don't. I mean like you know. It can't be cold during the day and then warm at night. It, you need to keep an ambient temperature like you would in a vivarium. Um. So you have to have a designated room for a rack that you can control the heating on. Um, now with all the moving around and stuff and having the door open today and building this, the heat has gone down in this room and I can't find where I've put the thermometer that I usually keep on top here um, just to make sure that the temperature in the room is correct. Where is it? I don't know. Anyway, an oil filled radiator would do. Um, overhead, um, what are they called? Oh, I can't remember. They're like heat panels, I think. They're really good. Um, I use the radiator personally. And um, yeah, which is why I'm in a t-shirt in December. Today is December. Oh, and another good thing about these racks are they are on wheels. So you can just move them in, move them out. This is a brake so it doesn't actually move itself. Um, if I'm going to give this rack any criticism. Do I have any criticism? I actually don't think so. So far so good. Um, I've used it, well, these bottom two big ones and the smaller ones maybe about a year, I guess. Um, and everything's holding up well. Good. Probably the price is the downside. They are quite expensive. But because I do not know how to put a shelf on a wall, they're the easiest for me to do. So yeah, um, I guess... 10 out of 10 I'm going to give them. They're really great and the company seem really friendly, great with um, communication, great packaging. I've had no trouble with the company. Yeah, they're just top marks. So, sorry they're all hiding at the moment but um, yeah, stay tuned next video. Should probably be, be, probably be, yeah, <laughs> probably be in a week um, where I will be talking about my opinion on racks and vivariums. Anybody out? Come on. Give us something. Nope. Do you know what that's a sign of? It's a sign they are liking their new tubs. Oh, Jesus. <laughs>
I still can't push them in. <laughs> okay, see you next vid. Like, subscribe, thumbs up, comment, whatever. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Bye.